One of the biggest challenges facing Brit European and the logistics industry is that of drivers and workforce. The Road Haulage Association estimate that 45,000 drivers are short within the industry and with the uncertainty over Brexit, a lot of the European drivers that have come into the UK are considering their future and whether they stay. What are we doing about it as a company? Because without it, the economy is dead as 90% of the freight moves by road. Firstly, we set up our own driver recruitment agency, Silver Arrow Recruitment, to find, source and bring in the new lifeblood into the company and into other companies in the industry. Secondly, we're working with a company called Road to Logistics, uh, a not-for-profit organisation set up to assist people that have had a hard time, whether it's people coming out of the forces with post-traumatic or ex-offenders. The piece you're about to see was filmed at our Marchington operation near Utoxeter in August 2017 for ITN News, giving those ex-offenders a chance for a second go. The haulage industry is facing a recruitment crisis. Currently, there's an estimated shortfall of 45,000 drivers, which some blame on uncertainty caused by Brexit. Well now, a new scheme is underway, aimed at encouraging former prisoners from Derbyshire and ex-military personnel to become truck drivers. Phil Brewster reports. For the right person, a career as an HTV driver can be both rewarding and lucrative, but it seems that message isn't getting through. Currently, there's a shortfall of 45,000 drivers needed to work in the haulage industry. For this Midlands company, one of the reasons behind it is all the uncertainty surrounding Brexit. There's a lot of Eastern European drivers in the industry that are either thinking, well, perhaps I shouldn't be here and I should be going home because the exchange rate's not in our favour, um, and perhaps they don't feel that they're going to have a job in the future. To plug the gap, a new scheme called the Road to Logistics is underway. The idea is to recruit more British workers in the run-up to Brexit by encouraging ex-offenders and former military personnel into the industry. John Phillips spent four years at Sudbury Prison in Derbyshire, but now drives a truck for a living. He says the scheme gave him the chance to make something of himself and is grateful for being given a chance when others might have thought twice before employing someone with a criminal record. I've got two kids, so I've got... It's not just a case of going to jail and thinking about getting out and perhaps going back to jail again, make some more money and go back to jail. It's, think about kids need a dad in their life. You know, they don't need a part-time dad, that they can just visit once a week for an hour. They need someone who's going to be there for them, you know, emotionally, financially. So, and I think... This is helping me get there with them. A fully qualified HGV driver can potentially earn up to £45,000 a year. But with initial training costs of £3,000 for a licence, many people are put off at the first hurdle. Some in the industry are now calling for government funding to support schemes like the Road to Logistics, saying without it, the effect on the UK economy could be bleak. If you've got one in four trucks stood, I think the economy almost comes to a grinding halt. Um, that sounds very dramatic but I know other business leaders within logistics and ourselves, our biggest concern is not can we buy the trucks, can we put the trucks on the road, can we actually put somebody in it to drive it. With the average age of drivers in the UK now around 55, the need to address the driver shortfall is urgent. For John at least, part of the answer lies in believing in people like him. Prisoners are just normal people like me. You know, a lot of them haven't come from a very good background, neither have I and they just deserve a chance. Phil Brewster, ITV News. Road to Logistics is a national training organisation for the haulage industry. It's a joint initiative between Microlize and the Road Haulage Association. And we realised that the two organisations actually had similar goals in terms of trying to address the driver shortage in our industry. Some 55,000 drivers short at this point in time. If we don't employ by 2020 one and a half million people, we're going to have a, a dramatic problem in this industry. So we're building relationships with hauliers across the UK, everybody from a small family five-man outfit right the way up to some of the biggest fleets. It's really important that employers are confident that the people that they're going to take on through our programme are suitable for a role within transport. The mindset and the work ethic has been excellent from the individuals that we've had. I think a lot of it is down to the selection and the careful screening before you then take the, the candidates onto the scheme and into an employer like ourselves. 
When I first met John, it was quite obvious that he was desperate to get into work. I found out about the auto logistics, Bob, and we had a chat and I applied for the position with him. John joined Brit European uh, without a driving licence and started doing general work around the yard. You, know, you meet a lot of drivers, he'll tell you what it's like to be a driver and how to load machines and, you know, and when it comes down to it, how much money you can earn. One of the things that we do within Road to Logistics is provide that mentoring and support. He's now a member of the driving team. Uh, he's recently done his first delivery of, of, of JCB diggers, so he's now on that road to become an experienced driver.